Welcome back to Powerhouse. Do you know what this is? This is called a structural insulated panel, or SIP. It's an easy, energy efficient way to build a new home or add on to an existing home. Here's the breakdown. We have wafer board, which is sandwiched around four to eight inches of rigid foam insulation. And the result is a structure that's not only extremely strong, but one that's also extremely energy efficient. According to the SIPS Association, this is one of the fastest growing segments of the construction industry. As a matter of fact, it grew about 40% last year. Today we're going to see a SIPS home being built, and you'll see that these panels can be used for floors, walls, and even roof systems. Joining us today is Don Otto from DPO Construction. Hi, Don. Megan, thanks for coming. Thank you for sharing everything you know about Glad SIPS with to. us today. Glad to. Let's say that I'm a homeowner and I mm -hmm. decide that I want to use this in the construction of my home. Mm -hmm. How do I start? You start by developing a set of plans to uh, your exact spec specifications. You send those plans out to the factory, and they will assemble all of the panels and put them together for you. Okay, let's talk about the factory. What mm -hmm. is the process to build these panels? You start with a huge cube, a, a huge block of foam. They cut the foam into, into slices. They will glue a wafer board to each face, and they can make these panels up to 8 feet tall by 24 feet long. They lay these panels out on a cutting table. They cut out all of the windows and doors for you. Put all of the panels on a trailer, and ship them out to, to the site, and the builders put them together. Okay, Don, so the factory is done with all of these customized panels, mm -hmm. and they're shipped to the job site. Right. And it looks like it's pretty quick and pretty easy to put all the pieces together. Very quick and easy. The factory will ship you out a whole layout with all of the pieces numbered. And as you can see, the pieces are numbered right here. In sequential order? In sequential order. The carpenters will uh, verify the, the panels with what's on the layout and put them all together. How do they put them together? They're actually put together with splines, and if this is a sample of one of the panels, the spline fits right in between, and okay. it leaves just enough material left over for the next panel to come right on and fit right over it. Before they, fasten, before they put them together, they will put caulk and adhesive between it along the bottom of the plate. The next panel comes right out to it, and they're fastened right up the edge. Wow. Now, you can see here that this is solid insulation. Can you explain to us how the electrical and the plumbing systems are put into place? You bet. Before the final skin is put on, they'll take a hot knife and route out a channel for the wiring. And very much like this, if this were the actual core of the panel, you can see that they've drilled a, wire, uh, a hole right through it and the electrician can fish the wires right through. So it goes all the way across wherever you need it, and, and that's done in the factory? It goes all the way across, and they put them in there for a little bit up higher for light switches, and if you need to go from floor to floor, they will actually take vertical channels and route them right up the whole mm -hmm. panel. That's great. Now, looking around the job site here, this is pretty environmentally friendly. There's not a lot of waste here. Absolutely. There's very little uh, wood that's put in, in the panel itself. About the only wood that really is in there is the bottom plate, the top plate, and some occasional framing around the windows and doors. And what kind of trees are used? Uh, what they do is they actually have poplar farms, and they use the poplar and chip it up into wafers and make the panels with it. Very, very little lumber. That's important to a lot of our viewers. It certainly is. Can we go inside and take a look Let's around? Let's do. Okay. Now, Don, while the SIPS technology can really bring us a nice, airtight home, mm -hmm. the exchange of air is very important, isn't it? Getting fresh air into the home is. and the stale mm -hmm. or moisture-laden air out of the home. You bet. How do you deal mm -hmm. with the exchange uh, in a SIPS home? It's really a two-part system. We use mechanical ventilation to provide all of the fresh air that the occupants need in the house. But once you provide all of the fresh air, then it only makes sense to make the building envelope as tight as you possibly can. And that's where the SIPs come in really well because they are so airtight and energy efficient as well. Energy efficiency, I know, mm -hmm. is a big factor, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But let's talk about some of the other benefits mm -hmm. of the SIPs home. Uh, bug resistant, fire resistant, very fast to build. And as you can tell, this is a very windy site. It is. And so the SIPs will keep the air infiltration down quite a bit. How fast is it to build? Can you compare that to a traditionally built stick home? Right. It took us only about a day to build one whole story. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's talk about the energy efficiency. Do you have any um, statistics for me? Uh, typically, SIPS houses cost, um, can save about 40 to 60 percent on the utility bills. And when we calculated the energy cost for this house, it, we're looking at about $400 a year. Wow. All of these mm -hmm. things add up. So. What's the cost? Is it a lot more expensive than a stick bill home? It really boils down to the insulation. Uh, if you compare it with traditional, traditional construction methods, th it 
this is only about 2% more. But if you compare it with the quality of the insulation that's in the SIPs, this is a real bargain. Really? So mm -hmm. with all of these benefits, why don't we hear about SIPs more frequently? Well, even though they've been around for about 20 years, it's still a relatively new technology. It's just not, not that well known. And it takes a certain investment in time to learn about the material and learn how to put it together. Right. Well, mm -hmm. we like learning about new things, and thanks for sharing your knowledge with us, Don. You're very welcome. Megan, it won't take long to put that house together using SIPs. It sure won't. It's amazing when you talk to Don. You know, he told me that you can actually finish a floor in a day. That's amazing. Remarkable. And speaking of the future, it'll be fun for us to be out here at the powerhouse site over the next couple of months as we watch the building process come along. It'll be fun and it'll be very interesting. It sure will, Pete. And if you're thinking about new construction, look into insulated concrete forms. They're really easy to use and they help to create structures that are strong, energy efficient, and quiet. And if you'd like to learn more about something you saw on today's show, visit our website at powerhousetv.com. Thank you for watching. And until next time, make your house a powerhouse. Accommodations provided by Crown Plaza Five Seasons Hotel.